In this episode of Gav Details, we are going to be testing out for the first time the IK Foam 1.5 foaming sprayer uh, purchased from the Rag Company. Uh, it does come similar to the other video I made with the Foam 9. Uh, the uh, dispensing tip is gray, that's what they start you out with. The green tip is going to be more of a dry foam and the orange tip more of a wet foam. So we're going to be trying it out as it comes out of the box. We have 34 ounces of warm water and one ounce of Griot's Garage foaming surface wash and the unit has been pumped 28 times. We do have a pressure release valve here and a nice handle and trigger. Oh, well, all right. So we know that it works. Uh, we may or may not have hit Tim with some spray. What? Uh, thankfully Tim's garage is heated and we have a nice size G35 here to see if we can foam an entire vehicle with uh, just one bottle of solution. Okay, so as you saw, uh, I was trying to move around the car uh, quickly because you do have to pump the unit uh, a few times, maybe three or four times around the entire vehicle, and then there's probably, uh, I don't know, six ounces of uh, fluid left. Um, we're going to be doing a rinseless wash after this because it's only about 22 degrees outside. Uh, that's why the videos are few and far between because winter is not conducive to uh, detailing. So uh, I'm actually going to change the tip on the inside to the drier foam to see how thick it does come out. If you're not foaming an entire vehicle, if you're only foaming wheels or anything like that, uh, that'll give you an idea of how thick the foam is actually coming out. Okay, so as you can see, I have the green feeder tip inside here. Uh, I did unscrew the middle tube that will screw into the top. Screwed into the top, as you can see, the top is nice and flush. We did release the pressure before opening the unit. Here is the feeder tube that we will just kind of softly push into place there. And the one that comes out of it is here, the gray. We're all set to go back 
into the reservoir. Make sure that it is tight. Uh, tight. Uh, there is only one little foam pad on the inside of this plastic sleeve here. Uh, I believe if you add another one, the foam gets thicker, but let's just try the tip for a quick comparison. And then you can also change this tip. If you loosen this, you can turn it sideways, like if you wanted to spray like the side of a van or some large uh, vertical surface. So um, for the video, we'll leave it like this and we'll get a close-up on the panel to see how thick the foam is applied okay so we have the green tip and a close-up of how thick the foam can come out here so as you can see it hangs out of the tip and it clings a little bit better as you can see it is falling off tim does have a little bit of protection on the vehicle uh two coats of mcguire's number 26 yellow wax but after the rinseless wash is done and in another video we will actually be reviewing and applying a new product for the first time so if you have any questions on the products used in the video leave them in the comments uh, i will leave links to the products in the description of the video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And for more detailing videos, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks.